Hi everyone, I am Dr. Dattaram. I am a consultant uh, surgical gastroenterologist and a laparoscopic surgeon practicing in Hyderabad. Today I am going to talk about a very important uh, topic that is a perianal abscess, which is a very a very common uh, condition what I see in my clinical practice. So many patients have uh, doubts about the perianal abscess, the treatment and also the chance of recurrence after a perianal abscess and the fistula formation after perianal abscess. So perianal abscess as you all know is a pus formation or abscess formation around the anal canal. This is a very common condition and a very uh, very very painful condition. Perianal abscess as you all know happens because of the infection of the perianal glands. These are glands surrounding the anal canal and lying between the sphincters, the anal sphincters. The anal glands are surrounding the anal canal and they open into the anal canal. So when they get infected, the pus formation, that is the perianal abscess happens and some patients a fistula will develop. So this is how a, a patient develops a perianal abscess or a fistula in anal. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms of perianal abscess are uh, the patient will start having a perianal pain, this pain around the anal canal and a swelling around the anal canal and the patient has tremendous pain. So initially to start with the pain will be very mild pain and gradually it will increase over a period of few hours to a days and it will become very severe. The patient will not be able to sit down. Sometimes the patient notices a swelling, a swelling and sometimes the perianal abscess may burst open. So the best treatment for a perianal abscess is incision and drainage. Uh, it is a small surgical procedure. It's a daycare procedure and the patient can do it and go back home on the same day or the next day. So this is nothing but opening the perianal abscess and draining all the pus out. So this is the best treatment. Along with that, we also give antibiotics. As the patient has to come to the OPD for the first few days for wound irrigation and wound care. After that, the perianal abscess will heal. So what happens after the perianal abscess is drained? So it is very important. So for most patients, the perianal abscess, once it is drained, it will heal. The patient will not have any problem. For some patients, the perianal abscess can recur. The abscess can form again within few days or few months or few years at the same place or some other place around the anal canal or in some patients the perianal abscess may develop into a fistula in anal. So as you all know fistula is nothing but a communication between the inside of the anal canal and the skin around the anal canal. So this is a natural uh, history of the disease. So this is a part of the disease process. So that means some patients can get recurrence of a perianal abscess or some patients will develop a fistula after a drainage of a perianal abscess. So a lot of patients are concerned and they ask me, so why drain an abscess? So why go for surgery? So surgery is the most important treatment and the only treatment for a perianal abscess. If you don't drain the perianal abscess, a simple abscess can get complicated. A complicated abscess like a horseshoe abscess or a supralevator extension or some patients develop severe infection in the perine anal region and develop gangrene. On some patients, they become very sick, they become septic and they develop organ failure. So, one may land up in the ICU and become extremely sick and if not treated on time, this can be a serious life-threatening condition. That is the importance of a perineal abscess. So, please don't ignore the symptoms, get operated, it's a simple procedure. It can recur or form a fistula which can be treated at a later date again. So just because the perineal abscess is known to recur or develop fistula, don't avoid surgery. Surgery is just very simple. It's only incision and drainage of the abscess and that will cure most patients. But only some patients will develop a abscess recurrence or fistula in anal. I am Dr. Dattaram. I am a consultant surgical gastroenterologist and a laparoscopic surgeon. I practice in Kim's Hospital, Gachiboli, Hyderabad. If anybody is having queries or doubts about the perianal abscess or any condition of the anal region. If you want an opinion, you can leave a comment in the comment section or you can call us on 9895437059 or email us to gastrosurgeryhyderabad at gmail.com. The contact details will be shared in the description box below. And if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.